You see, God has allotted this final block of time for the devil's schemes to play out on planet Earth and to expose his true wicked character. That's what this 1,335 days are for. All right, let's look at point reference number two. So point number two is right here on our 1,335-day uh, timeline of the Great Tribulation. At the start of the 1,335 days of the Great Tribulation, we read in Revelation 10 this oath that Jesus makes to his Father in heaven. Now, Jesus swears an oath to his Father in heaven that the final events on Earth's history will not be delayed any further. Jesus will follow God's, the Father's, plan and complete the plan of salvation and redemption to save as many people on Earth as is willing to be saved. If we look over here in Revelation uh, chapter 10, verse 6, we read, and he swore by him that liveth forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that therein are, the earth and the things that are that therein are, and the sea and the things which are therein, that there should be no time, there should be time no longer. Well, a lot of people get confused on this a little bit, because this is a mighty angel, and this mighty angel is making this oath to God the Father, who lives forever and ever. Well, we, we know from studying the Bible that Jesus is the creator of everything. There's nothing that was created that Jesus did not create. But he created everything on the orders, if you will, or the direction or the request of God the Father. So Jesus was the creator but God the Father was the person, or the Godhead, that requested Jesus to do this. So everything that was created belongs to the Father. He, re he asked Jesus to create this, and he did. We also find in Daniel 12, verse 12, uh, a very famous text. It says, God's blessings on those who make it to the end of the 1,335 days of the Great Tribulation. So it says, Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the 1,335 days. So very few uh, saints will be alive at the end of this Great Tribulation, but there will be some. God will spare some, and the devil will not kill everyone off. There will be some people that will make it alive to the end of the 1,335 days. And, and they have a special blessing here that's in, found in uh, Daniel 12. Now, some people don't believe that the 1,335 days are actual, real days, but they are. You see, God has allotted this final block of time for the devil's schemes to play out on planet Earth and to expose his true wicked character. That's what this 1,335 days are for. God is going to close out the sin problem on Earth. He's going to bring it to an end. He's not going to let this run on forever and ever. But he's also going to show once and for all that taking the devil's path leads to uh, anarchy and chaos, death and destruction. And that's what's also going to play out during this 1,335 days. But during these final days, the Holy Spirit will be poured out in great measure and everyone on earth will hear, will feel the Holy Spirit's presence and the Holy Spirit will impress on their minds and hearts that the messages that are delivered by the 144,000 prophets 
that these messages are true and they're from the Bible. So there's going to be a twofold thing. It's going to be a lot of chaos on one hand and a lot of uh, wrath on one hand. But on the other hand, God's spirit is going to be poured out in great measure and people in their hearts will understand that the 144,000 are speaking the truth. Now, the great dilemma that they will be in is are they going to believe the devil's lies or are they going to believe the Holy Spirit and the Bible, what it has to say? So, unfortunately, most people will not accept this message, but a few precious souls will accept this message and be saved.